Okay, in this video we're going to do part 4 of uh, this tutorial which is to organize the data within Zapier and by that I just mean do add two interim steps um, to this Zap that we already started creating before in order to get the info that we need to create a job in Spatula. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is to um, do this to get the current time. Basically what we're doing is to instead of just saying um, deliver this ASAP we're going to add the um, prep time that we created in the jot form and add that to the current time in order to um, in order to say when the pickup is due. So let's go over to the uh, to Zapier and we'll add an action and select formatter by Zapier. So here we go. So we're going to come down. So this this step's been done, and we're going to go add setup step two. So now we're going to go to formatter. Click that, and click date time, and go next. Then what? Um, and then we're going to we're going to uh, format, and we're going to copy and paste in this field in order to get now. So if I paste this in, hold on. So we'll format, and the input's going to be this now, and you see it's changed to this Zap Meta UTC ISO. So it's just a particular format. You don't really need to worry about what that means. We're going to set it to um, uh, set your time zone. The rest can be default. Um, actually, we've missed out a bit here, so um, I'm going to show you, and then I'll go and change that uh, that other article. But basically, we need this one, which is the the ISO format. Uh, that one. Yeah, this one. So it's the YYYYMMDD. So that shows up like that. There's the example format. So pick that one. And then um, the two time zone, we're going to pick ours here in Perth because that's where I am. Oops. Uh, the rest of it can stay blank. And um, that's it. We'll save that. And let's just check and see what the time shows up as. And it should say that it is roughly. So it's 3.10 p.m. here, yep, and plus 0, 0,800, that is correct. So we've got that one done. Now we're going to add, oops, we've, we should have said add another step. So it, this is this is the last step, but we won't get to there yet. We'll click plus and add another one. So next thing we need is step two here to get it. So it's, spatula actually requires a latitude and a longitude for each location rather than just a plain text address, which doesn't really mean very much if you um, if you read up on addresses. It's not a very good way of describing a specific location in the world. Um, so what we're going to do is take the address that got put in through the form, which is definitely going to be something we can locate because we used the Google Picker to input it, and we're going to convert it into um, into uh, the right format. So we're going to look for this particular field as the input and we're going to copy and paste some code in um, to help. So let me just go back to the zap here and show you how this is going to work. We're going to add a step which is code. So it's right there but you can search, search for it if you can't see it. And we're going to pick JavaScript. And now up the top here um, we're going to add a field called address and the input is going to be the address from the jot form. So um, you can copy and paste that thing over, I think. But the, the catch hook here is the jot form step. That's where you caught the webhook. And if you look in here, one of these should be, if we go in the search, address. There we go, delivery address. And you can see that we've got this um, this format where we've got the street name and then the street name and then house number and then the uh, the suburb state postcode. So we've got all the information that we need but we don't have a lat long. So this step's going to use that as the input and we're actually going to call um, we're going to call the Google API and ask it what the lat long is there. So if you come back over here to this article and copy this all this code all the way down to shift click we should get all of that. Copy it and paste it into this box and then if you see at the top here we've got Google API key we don't want that um, we want to go back to the form we made in Zapier where are we back to the form we made in Zapier let's stop previewing it 
and come back to the build step and go grab that same um, that same Google API key we got earlier. So let's copy that and highlight this whole Google API key text there and paste it. And you still want the little um, the inverted commas on the sides, the quotation, because uh, that indicates that that's the parameter we're putting in. Um, so that's basically all you need to do. And we'll come down the bottom and click continue. It, sh it should give you the details of what it's going to try to do. So that's the input. That should be, you should see there what you put in as your example job. And then uh, the code it's going to run. If we click create and continue, um, if you have been successful in this step, you'll get a little success and you should be able to view the run JavaScript and see an address that doesn't look like um, a set of parameters anymore. It's just a nice looking address and a latitude and longitude that we're going to be able to use in the rest of it. So we're going to click finish that because that looks good. Um, that bit can be a bit fiddly if you, if you mess it up, um, but hopefully you followed along and got that right. If you've got any questions, leave it in the space below. Otherwise, I believe we're now past the scary bit and we're ready to create the, the job in spatula, which I'll do in the next video.